very small. One नमस्कार और आप सभी का स्वागत है गणतंत्र दिवस के इस शुभ अवसर पर आज हम सब एक साथ हैं एक साथ है हमारा प्यारा भारत जहां हर रंग हर भाषा और हर धर्म का एक अनूठा मेल है हम आज यहां एक साथ खड़े हैं हमारे देश के सम्मान में एक दूसरे के साथ बंधुत्व और समानता का जज्बा रखने के लिए आइए इस उत्सव में साथ मिलकर अपने देश के गौरव को याद करते हैं और एक नए कल का संकल्प लेते हैं Acting Vice President of the DPS Modern Indian School, Mr. George Thomas, distinguished members of the management, Mr. Rocky Fernandez, Mr. Gopi Vardhan, Mr. Shri Dharan Kunni Ramat, Mr. Harish Kanjani, esteemed dignitaries, Principal Ms. Asna Nafis, Vice Principals Ms. Soma Bhatta Charji, Ms. Mary Cruz, Ms. Shifa Sheikh, Headmistress Ms. Najla Mohammad Bukhari, coordinators, teachers, parents, and fellow students. A very good morning to one and all present here. To begin this momentous day, we request our acting vice president, Mr. George Thomas, to hoist the Indian flag. To begin this momentous day, we request our acting vice president, Mr. George Thomas, to unfold the Indian flag. audience let us move to the auditorium to continue the program Excuse me, I'm not 
celebrated Nearly a day on the calendar.
principal Mr. John, Mr. Emma, member, It's very essential that in that country runs on democracy. And it's essential that we learn that humane time that is surrounded all the time with AI, data, computers. It's very to introduce our children to the fact that what us or what keeps us away Creations of the Almighty is our sense of empathy and compassion. To all here, as my children, in the race, in the race to make our children students who would be getting those, we forget our children to our value systems, those of inclusion, those of respecting diversity, those of leading the way darkness. We forget like we wake up positions are respected even today is for the fact that they guided the world to the right place that it should be in. A world of peace, inclusion, equality. Let's all hope that our nation is in the safe hands of students who come out from schools like ours, where we believe that, marks aside, there's a whole lot of world that is waiting for us to take up and to follow. To all our students, I would say the examination season is very nearby. We also know that the national education policy is coming into full swing. Things are changing. The scenario can be changed only if parents' mindset changes. Governments can only guide us. It is we, the people of India, 
we, the citizens of India, that should look forward for change. As a school and as a management, our management has always stood with us whenever we looked at change. One of the major changes that we plan to bring the next academic session in line with NEP is at least to take away the report card system that exists with grades. And I know it is quite shocking for everyone. But it is what CBSC tells, it is what NEP says, it is what the government of India says. We need to look at helping our children realize the potential in whichever field they choose to be in. At least let's make schooling a happy learning experience and keep our children mentally strong to face the challenges that the world is going through. Let's make our children understand what sustainability is all about in the year of G20 rather than it just being a G20 for celebration purpose. Let's make our children understand and ourselves also understand that it's better not to waste and preserve for the future. To all our parents here, teachers, students, and to the entire nation, long live our country, may we continue to do well. On this occasion, I would also like to share that the School with a Difference does has a lot of things to share with you. Yesterday, we received a message from the Ministry of Education and Higher Education informing us that they would like to meet the head of the institution personally to understand how we managed to keep a sustained result in the benchmarking, international benchmarking examination like PISA, Pearls and TIMS. These are results that are authentic statistics from across the globe and our school standards have always been about international standards. <laughs> to get a personal mail, mail from the Director of Education, Ministry of Education and Higher Education State of Qatar is a moment of pride for our school to go there, to interact with them and to make them understand what we do differently is definitely going to be a moment of pride for us. It's on the 31st of January that this occasion is going to take place, that the meeting is going to be one-to-one. -one. Similarly, we would also like to share that ours is a rare school that has represented the state of Qatar in the International Junior School Olympic Olympiads held at Thailand. It was one student, Indian, with along with Qatari nationals who represented state of Qatar. It's not just that the student is brilliant, it is also about how much preparation and training happens from the school's end. The training for a great 10 child was done by the 11 and 12 teachers because the curriculum demanded that sort of training. Our teachers have stayed back after two till late evenings to help the child. Our laboratories were open for the child to get trained because there was a lot of doing and learning with doing, experiential learning. So this is what we bring as a difference. We seek your support in everything that we do. Thank you for being wonderful parents. Thank you to the management who's always stood with us, always stood with us in the sense of the progress that we make, any idea, any uh, new creative thought that comes into our head, we definitely put it across. For example, the little students, the National Day can always be celebrated, but involving little children, having the flag displayed, the hand-printed flag displayed, these are all small steps towards integrating any bean to our school, and we thank everyone who's associated with that, especially our team of teachers, leadership, and the management for making this possible, for giving us this opportunity to serve the cause of education and serve the cause of change. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your words that inspire us to be better citizens for our nation's future. It is an honor to introduce our esteemed acting Vice President, Mr. George Thomas, to share his thoughts with us today morning. Please join me in giving him a warm welcome. Excom, <clears throat> council members, principal ma'am, academic leaders, our invited guests, teachers, parents, and my dear children. Good morning and happy Republic Day to all of you. <clears throat> 75 years back, this day, the India became a sovereign democratic republic. 
Republic means a state where political control is with the people through their representatives. Political power is with the people through their representatives. That's what a republic is and that's what we are celebrating today. <clears throat> and also our constitution became, I mean, started that day. You know, it was implemented from this day in 1950. The constitution has four pillars. Liberty, justice, equality and fraternity. Justice in social, economic, political and all respects. Liberty of expression, faith and worship. Equality of status and opportunity, equal opportunity to all. Fraternity is assuring dignity of individuals and unity of the nation. So this is the fundamental responsibility the constitution has put on us, each one of us. We need to live by these foundations. We need to uphold these values in our lives. Then only that constitution has some meaning. Because in our day-to-day -day life, in our day-to-day -day activities, we need to promote these values and principles. We as a school, we try to do that. And our children are the examples for such activities. So I want all of you to be aware and reminded of these basic values, basic principles in our life for which our nation, our constitution and our is standing for. When we took the uh, G20 leadership, we are trying to promote these values to the world. That's what we did. And make them understand what peaceful coexistence really means. I hope and pray that our nation and the people continue to prosper and wishing you all the best for more such functions to come. Thank you. words that inspire us to be better citizens and custodians of our nation's future. It's an honor to introduce the school choir because hum is manch par ek jhut hokar vividta mein apni taakat ka prateek hain. Hamara school choir ab ek raag prasut karega jo bharat ki ekta ko darshata hai. Aaiye taaliyon ke saath unka swagat karte hain.
That was wonderful. Your song not only captivated us, but also, but also mesmerized the spirit of patriotism within us. Let's put our hands together to welcome our kindergarten students for a mesmerizing dance performance.
आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के तले आजा आजा जिंद शामी आने के तले आजा जरी वाले नीले आजमाने के was wonderful brace yourselves for an enchanting journey into the world of creativity and innocence as our junior school students take the stage to recite a heartfelt poem let's welcome our budding poets with a warm round of applause as they mesmerize us with their poetic expression सपने अपने सपने पन पे सपने सारे धीर चले वीर चले चले युवा हमारे नीति सही रीति नहीं गति सही राह नहीं चुनो चुनौती सीना तार जग में बढ़ाओ देश का नाम अपने मन में लक्ष्य लिए मंजिल अपनी प्रत्यक्ष लिए हम तोड़ रहे हैं जंजीरे हम बदल रहे हैं तस्वीरें ये नवयुग है ये नवयुग है ये नव भारत है ये नवयुग है ये नव भारत है खुद लिखेंगे अपनी तकदीरें हम बदल रहे हैं तस्वीरें खुद लिखेंगे अपनी तकदीरें हम बदल रहे हैं तस्वीरें हम निकल पड़े हैं हम निकल पड़े हैं प्रण करके अपना तन मन अर्पण करके अपना तन मन अर्पण करके जिद है जिद है जिद है एक सूर्य उगाना है अंबर से ऊंचा जाना है अंबर से ऊंचा जाना है एक भारत नया बनाना है एक भारत नया बनाना है यही समय है सही समय है भारत का अनमोल समय है असंख्य बुझाओ की शक्ति है 
हर तरफ देश की भक्ति है तुम उठो तिरंगा लहरा दो भारत के भाग्य को फहरा दो यही समय है सही समय है भारत का अनमोल समय है कुछ ऐसा नहीं जो कर ना सको कुछ ऐसा नहीं जो पा ना सको तुम उठ जाओ तुम जुट जाओ सामर्थ्य को अपने पहचानो कर्तव्य को अपने सब जानो यही समय है सही समय है भारत का अनमोल समय है धन्यवाद क्या शानदार प्रस्तुति थी अपने उत्सव को और रंगों और लहर से भरने के लिए मैं हमारे प्रतिभाशाली छात्र को नृत्य प्रदर्शन प्रस्तुत करने के लिए आमंत्रित करती हूँ आइए तालियों के साथ उनका स्वागत करते हैं Such a wonderful performance. We would now like to invite Swaravikas Thakre and Rural Torkato, the head girl and head boy of the junior school, to propose the vote of thanks. Gratitude is the most exquisite form of courtesy. 
It is with a great sense of pride and patriotism that we stand before you all today. I, Ruel, deem it my privilege to be able to propose the vote of thanks on this august occasion. I, Swara, on the behalf of the DPS family, express my sincere gratitude to our acting vice president, Mr. George Thomas. Distinguished members of the management, Mr. Rocky Fernandez, Mr. Harish Kanjani, and Mr. Gopi Verdhan, and Mr. Sridharan Kuni Ramat for gracing this event with their presence. Let me take this opportunity to thank our dear Principal Ma'am for her guidance and motivation in all that we endeavor. I express our sincere vote of thanks to our dear Vice Principals, Headmistress, and Coordinators for always being a source of inspiration. A special thanks to each member of the teaching and non-teaching staff. I extend sincere gratitude to all the dear parents for their endless support and presence. I would also like to thank the facilities, IT and transport department for helping out with the execution and logistics. Last but not a bit least, our gratitude goes out to all our enthusiastic participants who poured their heart into today's program. Let's depart from here with a shared sense of unity and a determined spirit to contribute to the pride of our nation in every possible way. A heartfelt thank you to everyone for being a part of this special celebration and making it truly memorable. Thank you. Parents are requested to collect their refreshments from the left side of the auditorium, followed by the teachers. Thank you so much. <laughs>